Seems like it. Hmm. Strange. Fragmentum monsters would usually destroy man-made objects. Gate. There's no switch. We need to find a way around. I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivet Town, you could tell that people used to live there. Rivet Town is only at the outstretched fingertips of the corrosion. Now, we're deep in the Fragmentum's heart.
time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> to the clock. to say bye. Boom. Jail force. Stand still. To the clock. to say bye. Boom. Say bye. Boom. Dream four. Shut down. I want to ask you a question. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard.
This is merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Kokolia, and the one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well, there's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. Then, aren't we walking straight into a trap? <sighs> yes. And Branya may well be the bait. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. I have to save Branya, beat Kokolia, and crush this Stellaron thing to dust! want to get to the other side, we'll need to rotate the gear bridge again and go around. Fragmentum here seems to have made a special connection with Kokolia. It's repeatedly generating forms in her image. Don't forget to let your friends in on the action. I don't understand. Even if the truth is as you say, every generation of Guardian has resisted the call of the Stellaron. All of them have been wrong, Mother. Do you still not see, Branya? There is no right or wrong here. Some of them acted out of human pride, others out of human short-sightedness. 
Our ancestors, including Elisa Rand, spent their whole lives trying to prolong this civilization. Then, after all fell still, their memories were scattered by the blizzard. They spent lifetimes writing songs of praise that lauded the bravery of humanity, but couldn't spare the time to gaze up into the stars. To those entities of greater magnificence in the heavens above, a thousand years is but a passing moment. The attainments of insignificant beings, nothing more than a footnote. I shall not follow the Guardian's misguided steps down that blind alley of narcissism. If persistence is futile, then one must choose a new beginning. But, Klipoth, the Preservation, are they not one of the magnificent entities you speak of? Is it not their strength that has sheltered Bellabog this entire time? The Preservation. Has the Preservation ever looked humanity in the eye? Nothing more than an arrogant delusion of the Architects. Oh, you will hear the real voice of magnificence, Branya. Then you will understand my choice. to Branya. Let's move! You still haven't told me what this place is, Mother. 700 years ago, this was Bellabog's... Now, don't let its... Uh, mother. And yet... What? From the moment there is a... When the pro... No. Check this place out! Tables and sentry posts? There must have been Silvermane guards stationed here once. If there were, they left a long time ago. Huh. There might be valuable information here. Uh, shame we don't have time to look for it. Looks like another completely new monster! Considering where we are... It would be surprising if we didn't run into strange enemies here. I don't care how strange it is. It's blocking our way. Let's get it! Pray. Storms on the horizon. Just in time. For your sins. <laughs> time to show what you your prescription! Thanks. I'll never forget you. Your water's of oblivion. <laughs> Again. Let me tend your wounds. <laughs> Stand still. Annihilate. <laughs> Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Free will, or was it fate? Just for oblivion. For your sins. Relax. Eliminating friends. The redemption. I want to protect everyone too. Help me, Mr. Sora. Again. 
Golden Child. Cutting the net. The waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. You the doctor? Don't worry, it's just I a scream. breathe. Stand still. I lost my way. This enemy is completely different. If I didn't know it was a product of the Fragmentum, I'd think we were fighting a human. Unlike those random low-level Fragmentum creations, this one seems to have a mind of its own. It seems to be able to use complex tactics. Look! Branya and Kokolia's echoes! They must have come through here. Uh, that means we must be really close, right? I sense that we're very near to the Northern Snow Plains. This is where the First Guardian led the Silvermane Guards into battle. She made huge sacrifices for the sake of... temporary respite. But the otherworldly Legion did not tire. She soon realized that flesh and blood could not contend with so ruthless an enemy. When all was nearly lost, she chose to set her sights on the Stellaron, and made the first wish. As for what came later, you know as well as I. So... The Eternal Freeze was a disaster brought about by a human wish? <laughs> Ironic, no? All the Stellaron did was answer humanity's call. And yet we kept its existence a closely guarded secret for centuries. Even going so far as to attempt to use it to control the Stellaron. <sighs> Woeful. <laughs> Laughable. It? Now, well, something created using otherworldly technology. An inhibitor that a corporation from the old world and the architects attempted to use to house the Stellaron. <laughs> oh. I know you have many questions, my daughter. Be patient. Soon you will have all the answers. Say bye. Boom. 
stand still. <laughs> you! Not bad. Try that again! You can't run! <laughs> Relax. Take more than that. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Here. Watch this awesome move. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Blood debt repaid. Don't forget to let your friends in on the action. <sighs> Stream forth, gleam of old blades. The redemption. <laughs> <laughs> Fate to say for your sins. Still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Prayers won't help you. <laughs> you bully. Time to say bye. Boom. Uh. Stand still. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. Time to say bye. Boom. Prayers won't help you. Relax. Still waters of oblivion. Exploring the cosmos is all about. Stream four. Gleam of old blades. Storms on the ground. Ill fate descends. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Destined for oblivion. How familiar. The 
still waters of oblivion. Stand still. Earth Shrieker will find you. Time to say bye. Boom. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Cosmos is all about. Shadow of hers again. But Branya's isn't with her this time. It's only a fragmentum illusion. Let's get a closer look. It feels like this echo is different from the others before. Intruders. Momentum can only create fortunes. Bring her down! May as well kill them all. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Destiny for oblivion. Need a doctor? Relax. Tremble before my power. He's the moment. <laughs> A thousand wonders to raise your spirit. Fight as one. Stand still. Let me tend your wounds. Fight me. Don't worry. It's just a scream. <laughs> Good times. Never last. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Time to squash in your prescription! Don't worry, it's Welcome just a scream. Welcome, customers. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> a world devoured by ice. The eternal breeze will bury you. Relax. 
forward wherever they lead it must be the end of the journey I don't want to get to the end so soon I want my journey to go on forever this means that Branya is up ahead and so is the fate of the overworld and the underworld it's all in our hands <sighs> strange I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid but I don't the only feeling I have is that none of this seems real. Not always. Sometimes it's a happier conclusion. The Express has traveled world after world. We are merely passing travelers. Witnesses to part of a grander story. We invariably avoid getting drawn into turbulence that can decide the fate of a world. But there are always times when we have no choice but to act. Or to put it another way, this is one heck of a first trailblazing expedition. You hit the jackpot. I was about to bore you all with my gloomy reflections, but on second thought, not today. Adventuring with you guys by my side has made me feel like no obstacle is too big. Right on! But you can say whatever you like. A good adventure shouldn't be full of rules and regulations. Helping those in need, befriending those worth counting on, and saving the world a few times along the way. If there's anything you need, don't hesitate to ask. Oh, we meet again. enough to stop the cold. It means that we're getting closer to the Stellaron, and the heart of the Eternal Freeze. different from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. Does it look like the palm of a huge hand to you? If Kakolia threatens us by taking Branya hostage... We have to save her. The underworld... No. The entire planet relies on her. No. 
Do not resist, Branya. Accept the common will. No! I... I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya! A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. A world that we can guard for all eternity. 700 years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. And to what end? A crushing defeat. Why, when faced with irrefutable strength, is our first thought always to resist? To cover our ears instead of hearing the call. It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. So difficult to efface. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind you. The Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. Your brainwashing ends here, you witch! Zila? You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. <laughs> you wish. We're not going down before you do. Branya! I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to seal this Stellaron thing. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then, then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself! Zila... All of you... <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to... bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. Huh. I want to witness your choice. I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew, refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the Architect's so-called preservation. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order. And the welcoming of a new world. And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so... tangible. I have agonized, long agonized, over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, then I would descend into torment, Branya. Enduring torment. <laughs> Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness. Branya, throughout your life, I have never forced you 
to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. As then, so now. Choose, my daughter. <clears throat> Madame Kukulia, I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I... I am sorry, Mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Hmm. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds light on the darkest recesses of the heart. But what about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome. Not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. We are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods, we are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you! So, this is your choice. I understand, Branya. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. The ground! It's shaking! What's happening? <sighs> that sign! The fate of this city, of Bellabog, is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. And you will become the foundation of the new world! You must break the old to build the new. The Supreme Guardian commands you! Rise, Engine of Creation! It's one of the Architect's Engine Machines! Watch out, all of you! <laughs> Remember it. Free will, or was it picking still waters of oblivion? Let's make it quick. Engine, break them! We have to stop it! Rules are made to be broken! Let me tell your woman! May as well kill them all. <laughs> Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Another journey begins. Destined for oblivion.
can we bring a giant like this down? Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. This is our chance. Relax. Rules are made to be broken. Promise is the only hope for this world. Just as it dispelled the Antimatter Legion 700 years ago, so too will it wipe you from the face of this world! Stay alert. Better up! <clears throat> <laughs> Humanity, so weak and foolish, always overestimating their abilities. Let me bestow upon you despair! Fighting Kokolia. Why am I here? The last time I came here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal districts for the time being. 
The garrison lost 26 fighters. But I... Go on, Jepard. I... I'm not sure that they're dead. I saw their broken figures lingering in the fragmentum. What happened back there defied all reason. It was madness. Madam Guardian, if this continues... I know well the consequences, Jepard. You may leave. always been hoping for? Get out of this cage and take a look at the city. What is there to lose? The efforts of our predecessors, their unfinished research, we can finally see them come to fruition. Give me some soldiers and I'll locate the Stellaron and find out how to save our world. You need to come to your senses, Serval. Senses? What are you? Guards! Miss Serval is tired. Take her to rest. Sequester her lab and detain the researchers. Their work is illegal. Why, Kakalia? Why have you grown so cold? Serval Landau, you were my most cherished friend. Madam Kakolia, the monsters are surging this way. It's too dangerous here. Understand. They have eyes that do not see, ears that do not hear. Feast on their willful ignorance! Absolve them of their stupidity and fear! Fragmentum corrosion has already spread to the underworld. How will those below ground fend for themselves if we withdraw every guard? The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. You, me, and every Silver Main Guard in the city, all of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right.
city is drowning in tears. The power of the preservation is fading. We could not defy the will of the Stellaron after all.
Time to say bye. Boom. Free will, or was it fate? Still waters of oblivion. Don't worry, it's just a scrape. Another journey begins. Stand still. Time for the old world to collapse. your own volition? Or was it fate? Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. Deceive me. 
Of trailblazing expedition. We made it! But, uh, what are we gonna do with the Stellaron? It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll steal the Stellaron. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Hmm. The storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life, but it will take time. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. This victory is only the beginning for Bellabog. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. Can I really do that? Tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a lie perpetrated for 700 years? No. No. No way. Zila. I... I don't know how to explain it, but I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, we tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone knows it's a lie, but it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? <sighs> Mother died to preserve Bellabog. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power, a, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical, and... Hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. Thank you for understanding. 
For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness, evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian. And discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Sila. Please, protect this secret with me. Till the end of our lives. Say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the Overworld and the Underworld. Sila, can you tell everyone in the Underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over. And they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the... Administrative District. I need to tell Jabbar to... Serve... Huh. Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. She's exhausted! Quick, we need to think of something! Uh, you! Help me out here! Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. That's settled then. I'll leave not to you. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun... No. For Bellowbog's sake. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. Lord's gaze? Right at that moment? That's too much of a coincidence. He probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Remember that glance from Nanook? Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Let's talk once we're back on the Express. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. Nice. Uh, 
Nice. Hmm. <sighs> 